Hello and uh, welcome to another video. So um, today I'll be talking through how to get uh, this GitHub uh, All Talk TTS to work as an independent. Uh, so you'll want to use it as a standalone application unless you're using it for specifically in the Uber Booger or uh, if you're using it in Silly Tavern you'd use it independent. COBOL I'll eventually get around to doing. You will also want to install uh, the text generation web UI to load your models and such. Uh, you can follow the instructions here and if you get stuck uh, you can always leave a comment and I'll try to address any issues you have. So if you provide enough uh, code and information that is. And then you will want to install Silly Tavern. But for now I'll be going through how to install all talk, So. I already have uh, all talk loaded, so this is what it should be looking like once you've got it all working. But this alone doesn't do much, you must use it in something else. So for example, I've got this working here in uh, my silly tavern and uh, well, this is what the AI sounds like. Good girl, huh? That sounds a bit patronizing, don't you think? But all right, if that's what you need for your experiment, I'll play along. Here's another attempt. Putting on a coy expression. Oh, dear me. I do hope I haven't caused any inconvenience. I must apologize for any trouble I may have caused. Is there anything I can do to make it up to you? I'll eventually show how you can get to this in another video. It will require various things to be downloaded, such as Anaconda, uh, Python, and then... Uh, such so you'll be doing this within an anaconda terminal and you've extracted it to your file of your choice so for example like i uh i did before i might just extract it uh you know straight to my uh, desktop for instance yes main so what you would do is you would run the at setup.bat like so I will close this because these tend to interfere with one another if you do not, uh, you know, you need to actually uh, turn these off for now. Anyway, I'm going to run, uh, run, run these things, so. If you want to install via Silly Tavern, you would use option 2. And then uh, you'd pick option 1, standalone installer. And then you would wait until this is done. Now once this is uh, essentially done, you still won't be able to launch the application because uh, dependency issues. But once this is done, a new bat file or new batch file will uh, appear into this directory. Once you uh, once that happens and you attempt to launch it, it will instantly close. So uh, there's a way around that. So there is here a uh, you need to activate the environment using the conda activate uh, function. And then this will do its thing. It takes a little bit of time. But for now, you could open, for, say, an Anaconda terminal and uh, don't uh, load the environment just yet. For instance, if it says a module isn't there and it's in quotation marks, you would use the pip install and then the module name, whatever it is. You should uh, be keep this open just in case. So once you do have Uber Booger installed, you will. and then you would download models from uh, the Hugging Face website, and there's various models here. So then you'd load uh, through here. For some reason, uh, it doesn't work on nightly uh, the check boxes. So I I've moved it to Firefox. Any other browser really works really. Now once here, you can you know select the TTS and then. So that what voices you want, so and you can give you like an evader or something. It really doesn't matter. But you want to make sure you've got all talk selected, enabled, and then auto generation on. If you've got a low uh, VRAM or a lower gigabyte GPU, you would be selecting this option low VRAM. If you want faster generation, uh, deep speed, and you need to make sure this port matches. And this port can be found uh, much later, I'll show. So yeah, once you select a model, you'd load the model, then uh, 
it should eventually pop up in this little terminal here. Let's say it's loader custom obtained. And that's, that tells you it's loaded. So checking back on the uh, the installer, you can see things have progressed. This is uh, pretty normal. So what you'll see here is that uh, since you aren't in the condo environment, some things are missing. This is fine. You can just install it through uh, pip in the condo environment. So not every time, but for one time you'll have to go through into um, the anaconda prompt and uh, launch the bat file and uh, eventually you'll just be able to launch it normally all right so we see um, the bat file has now uh, been produced at the bottom so once you go in here you'll see files that weren't here before such as these three but if you were to attempt to open one of these now it doesn't work you see it, they all close instantly none of them work loaded so the the environment uh, the condo environment is now uh, essentially here. So what I want to do is now uh, I want to launch the uh, bat file. So you see this here. We can just simply copy this over from here, and then we can type it here. Oh, uh, I have to CD back to it. So you want to make sure you uh, CD back to your uh, your. Uh, directory first and then uh, you can just type this and then they should be able to find the bat file and or the batch file and then uh, should work so you'll see uh, it's come up with no module name request so what you're gonna do is you're gonna do pip install requests and then you might think oh maybe it'll work well uh, there's still a few more f uh, dependencies uh, you have to install before can launch usually so this time uh, sound file wasn't found so we're gonna do pip install sound file how do you like that you think oh maybe maybe I can actually run it this time right right well um, you're kind of right but you're also kind of wrong so what you want to do is also install pip install TTS which is also missing now this is the case sometimes in these downloads where lots of things are just simply missing so you're going to have to manually install the things which are missing so yeah this uh, this definitely goes on for a while well you may be asking was that everything is, is, it, is it done now am i free from pain I have news for you little Timmy, you are not finished yet, there is still lots more to install. So you'll eventually be met with this, if you're not lazy like me, you could just close this, reload the path again, restart the environment, then enter the install command, the pip install command for fast API, but I'd rather wait the two minutes. So you'll have to wait yet another two minutes for. So you'll see the start out time failed again. So what you're going to do is you're going to write pip install sound device, which I'm going to do now. And guess what? AIO files are missing. So you know what we're going to do, little Timmy? We're going to install AIO files by pip install. Does this sound quite repetitive now? Okay, so now the timeout's gone, and guess what we're gonna do? Pip install this thing. And then you might think, surely that is it. There can't be anything more again, right? That, that is it, that it has to be it. So your all talk is now working. Go to your TTS, enable it, auto gen as I said earlier, reload it. Then you're gonna play your thing. Well, uh, well, I guess I'll have to reload Silly Tavern, won't I? Port to be right, so at 7851, this one is. So you'll want to connect to your Ooga Booga. 
seven eight five one. So that matches the port perfectly. I am gonna launch up my old file though because my voices are in here. So uh, yeah. I hope you don't mind. And now the start the bat file will work. It should work in yours anyway. If it doesn't work, you'll just have to load it in the condo environment every dang time. Which will be very annoying to do, but uh, you can get it working nonetheless. Yeah, you'll have to wait till the queue the thing is done. Like, the link won't work straight away. And if you don't start the link, it's just gonna kinda stop working, so... <laughs> you'll wanna be fast doing it. Okay. Hold up. Hi there viewers. I hope you're enjoying this little demonstration. This is how you install a talk in 2024. I'm Kurisu Makise, a neuroscientist and physicist, and today I'm here to help Bradley with his AI project. We're working together to create a realistic conversation between a human and a machine, and I'm happy to lend a hand. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. And remember, don't forget to like and subscribe well that is what she said folks so um this is where i'll be ending off the video so um if you have any questions uh leave them down below and like uh, carissa said don't forget to like and subscribe